Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about the 10 things that we think you must do on board the NCL Breakaway. Let's go! Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to tell you the 10 things we think you must do on board the NCL Breakaway. If you have a favorite that you've done on the Breakaway, please put them in the comments below. Let us know what you think. Also, if once you hear these, let us know what your favorite is or what you think would be the best thing to do. Let's get into it. So first up, take a little walk or a little ride on the elevator all the way up to the top deck and hit up the ropes course. Ropes course is a ton of fun. You got to get there on a beautiful day. It's obviously not open if it's super windy or rainy, uh, but if you head up to the ropes course, it's slightly challenging, but a lot of fun. I, I don't think there's any limitations on who can do it really. I mean, obviously if you have some mobility issues, it's going to be tough. It's not certainly not the craziest of all the ropes courses, but it is a lot of fun. You're going to wind in and out of some different things. There's a little zip line element that you could try, and then you could walk all the way out to the ledge and look over the side of the ship, which is super scary, but you're harnessed in there nice and tight. Uh, so go ahead and go for it. Definitely try the ropes course. That is number one. Number two on our list is a great one. Go catch the rumor show at Sid Norman's Poorhouse. Here's the deal. There's not a ton going on at night on breakaway. So sometimes the line is an hour, two hours, two and a half hours to get into Sid Norman's Poorhouse. However, there are a few little tips and tricks here. One, get somebody to get in line and then you could shift and rotate that line over the course of time. It is crazy that you have to wait in line for two hours. Or wait till everything fills up. If you don't mind standing, you could jump in right at the last minute and kind of stand up against the wall. It's not a great experience, but you could do it. Also, they do show it outside on a TV so you can watch it, but it's not as fun if you're in there. Here's the thing. They do Fleetwood Max Rumors album from front to back. Uh, they go through the whole album. They tell little stories about it, and the performance is amazing. It's a great show. It's in an intimate little environment, obviously, which is why there's such a long line. Uh, but we highly recommend it. It's probably the best show on the ship. Not even probably. It's the best show on the ship. Number three, go to Howl at the Moon. Here you go. You got plenty of days and opportunities to go see Howl at the Moon. This is the dueling piano performance. It takes place in the comedy club there on deck six midship. And they do perform three or four nights throughout your cruise. It usually starts around 9.30 or so and goes till about one o'clock in the morning. It is a ton of fun. Uh, you'll have so much fun there. You can make requests for songs. You give them a couple bucks. You're song may go right to the front of the line so go hang out watch howl at the moon it is really a ton of fun next up there are a ton of theme parties when you're on the ship there's a 70s and 80s and 90s there's all different fun things there's an abba party going on uh, but my recommendation is go to the 80s party in spice h2o it's up on one of the top decks very back of the ship it's outside at night you know, they do the little Michael Jackson thriller dance. The 80s just has a ton of memorable music that you're going to hear. And it's a ton of fun. It's probably the most attended of all the parties. Uh, so go out there, have a good time there, and enjoy yourself. Next up, number five, head to the local. Listen, you can go to the local at any time. Or Oceans, I should say. You can go to Oceans at any time during your cruise. It is the British pub on board the ship. It is called The Local on some. It is called Oceans on others. It's the same place. But here's the thing. If you go to Oceans at night, they have late night snacks. You can get your little pretzel bites, some nachos, a hot dogs, some chips, fish and chips, a whole bunch of fun things. Try it out. It is really fun. It is included in your cruise fare. And it's a fun place to go after you see a show or after you're in the club at night. Just go there, grab a little snack. It is open 24 hours. At this time, we would love to ask you to like if you're enjoying the video and please subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as part of our community here. We put out a brand new cruise video every single day. We're a small travel agency. We try to give you a little behind the scenes look at the cruise experience, some insider access tips and tricks, and give you all the information you need to plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation. Next up, number six, 
have dinner and a show at the Manhattan Room. Manhattan Room is an included main dining room at the very back of the ship on deck seven. Here's the thing. I don't love the headliner show on this ship, which is Burn the Floor. However, they do like a 20 minute performance of Burn the Floor in the Manhattan Room, and I think that's plenty. I think it's really nice. I love the ambiance and the feel of the Manhattan Room. It's like a swanky old school supper club. Go check it out. Have a good dinner there. Let me know if you enjoy it. Number seven, you're going to have to get here early too because it fills up quick, but go to Shanghai's Noodle Bar. Also on deck seven, right by the casino and the Forever 21 bar. I think it's Bar 21. Forever 21 is a store. What am I talking about? It's something 21, and then Shanghai's is right there. I think it's Bar 21. So when you go there... It's pretty small. They do dim sum, noodle bar, a whole bunch of different options there, Asian options. Uh, it does get crowded. It is included in your cruise fare, so there's no additional cost there. But you got to get there early and jump in there and grab some dinner. It's really good. Next up, speaking of dinner, this one you're going to have to pay for. Go to Teppanyaki. Teppanyaki is the hibachi on board, and it's just so much fun. It, they're singing. There is chucking up some shrimps up in the air and you can catch them. You know, it's just a big performance. And it's a nice long evening out. If you don't mind sitting for like an hour and a half, grab a couple cocktails. You could have some fun. Take your kids. They're going to enjoy it. And just enjoy a really nice, fun dinner on board the NCL Breakaway. Next up, try Speed Trivia or Crowd Trivia in the atrium. These are both really fun. Speed trivia, basically you go up and you get like a minute or whatever the amount of time is and they're going to ask you questions and there's little uh, colored buzzers around you and you have to hit the right one so it's a little stressful and you're panicking and trying to hit the right color button. That's a lot of fun and crowd trivia, you get a little buzzer uh, and you and your team sit out in the audience and you don't really have to like be up there or the center of attention so if you like to hang back, it's a fun way to play trivia and they ask questions, you tap when you get the right answer. There you go. Go try it out. It is a ton of fun. Last but not least, spend a quiet afternoon or evening at Spice H2O. Spice H2O is adults only during the day. It is an outdoor sun deck. There's a waterfall back there. There's a bar back there. There's a beautiful TV screen back there where they play some serene, beautiful scenes during the day. Highly recommend if you're trying to get away from the crowds or the kids and you just want a quiet place to hang out, that is the one to do it. These are our top 10 things that we think you must do on board the NCL Breakaway. Let us know if you have one below. Thanks, everyone. We will see you tomorrow, and happy cruising.